And with Mo battling that illness at the beginning of the year, you look at him now, and he's really filled out. He looks like uh, he looks incredible right now. I mean, you've got to be confident in, in that horse right now. You know, it, you know, it, it, you know. He, he, I mean, as a two-year-old, he, he, you know, he was he was a monster over these other two-year-olds. Uh, you know, I remember being in the Breeders' Cup paddock, and it looked like it was a four-year-old running against two-year-olds. And you know, sometimes they just grow earlier, and the other horses catch up. Uh, and then he had the weight loss this year, so we weren't able to tell. But I mean, you know, we haven't weighed him in a while, but. He lost 150 pounds. I, it looks like he's put on 200 pounds, and and the right 200 pounds, by the way. And uh, uh, he looks he looks as good now as he's, he's ever did before. And uh, you know, I mean, you know, we're hoping both horses run well. But uh, you know, you know, Belmont, you know, he, this is you know, he likes his track. He won the Champagne here. Um, I think he's gonna put on a nice little show for us on Saturday. Stay thirsty. Some horses run in the Derby, and they just kind of regress, and you never see them again. Since the Derby, he seems to. Uh, Blossomed. You know, I, th I think with State Thursday, it's, it's, it's something I've been telling you guys for a year. And maybe it was just, I was trying to be optimistic because I paid 500000 for him. But I said he was going to be better as a late three-year-old, better as a four-year-old. You know, his breeding s said that, you know. So, you know, you know, I've, I've been with Todd for three years. It's the one horse, and only horse I ever said, can you please, please, please take your time with this horse. And, uh, you know, we went to the Derby. He was training good into the, in the Derby and just didn't run well. Uh, he was stuck on the rail, and you know, so I think the smartest thing we did was obviously skip the Preakness. Uh, it was a big advantage over some of the other horses that ran the Preakness. Um, and, you know, he ran a great Belmont um, and his last two races, you know, and, and to me right now he's the leading three-year-old, and he's going to run against all the horses on Saturday. And, you know, if he wins the Jockey Gold Club, uh, I, don't, I think we might, we might just see the three-year-old champion.